hello everyone so now let's do one more basic lab i hope you remember in our previous class we told that we are going to discuss how we can assign the ip to the router and also we will look how we can configure the router and also one more important thing we told that how to make communication between two different network by using router so in this class we are going to learn how we can make the communication between two different network by using cisco router if you see here before we have the two different network i hope you remember here we are using 192.168.1.1 or 1.0/24 network and this side before we are using 192.168.2.0/24 network and they are unable to communicate so now what we will do we will use the router with the help of router we are going to make the communication between different network okay i hope you remember the router definition we told router is a device which is used to make the communication between two different two or more different network okay i hope you remember that one so now let's do that one what i will do i will write here the ip schema whatever we are going to use 192.168.1.1/24 first of all let me check here do we have any ip to this machine i did not remember yeah we don't have so let me take here the other ip schema i will use here 192.168.2.1 okay what i am doing i am using two different ip schema two different network this ip is going to assign to this interface fast ethernet 0 by 0 and this ip is going to assign to this interface fast ethernet 0 by 1 some of our student is asking to make the video with uh, slow speed okay and move the cur cursor slowly because i am moving very fast so they have some confusion so let me reduce my speed okay so what i am saying here i am saying that one this side we will have 1.1 network this side we will have 2.1 network we are going to check how we can make the communication between two different network now okay and let me put the label whatever ip i am going to use i am going to use 192.168.1.2 1 okay because 1.1 we give to the router so that will be our gateway so let me go here i will go to the ip config i will assign here okay by default we will have the subnet mask keep that one and gateway should be the router ip so this ip we are planning to give to the router so here we will give that ip only okay that will be the gateway gateway is nothing but entry or exit point okay so this ip i will give this ip for this machine and let me paste here and let me assign here 192.168.1.4 okay the here we have two pc here we have the laptop so let me assign in this side we have the network 2.2 because we are using 2.2 here so i put the label now i am going to assign that ip here if you see here i assign okay everything is working perfectly but gateway should be 2.1 because we are using the router ip as a gateway and here i will put this one 2.3 okay and now i am going to assign this to this machine let me go to this machine and here i am changing 2.1 okay so the basic stuff assigning the ip to the computer that is finished now the main thing we need to do the router configuration so how we are going to configure the router i will take my laptop i will take the console cable i will connect the console cable to the console port of the router and i will connect this console cable to my router my laptop rs232 okay after that we will go to the putty software in the real scenario here i am going to use the terminal and press okay so this uh, with this way i can access the router in the real scenario we will have the putty software we will use putty software with that one we can access but now here i connected with the terminal okay so this is the router basic stuff i will log into the router i will go in the global configuration mode i will change the name of the router as a r1 whatever name you want you can give that one after that i will go under that interface fast ethernet 0 by 0 where is the fast ethernet 0 by 0 this interface is a fast ethernet 0 by 0 so i need to assign this ip to this interface 
and for this interface i need to assign this ip okay so let's do now so i am already inside that interface now i am going to assign that ip how i am going to assign i will write ip address then write the ip 192.168.1.1 give space write the subnet mask 255.255.255.0 and write no shut because by default cisco router port is down so we need to write no shut to make this port up okay after that what i will do i will exit this and now i will go to the interface fast ethernet 0 by 1 okay this this interface 0 by 1 now i am going to assign the ip address this ip we need to assign if you see this one 192.168.2.1 so i will write 192.168.2.1 Give space two five five dot two five five dot two five five dot zero, right here no shut. Okay, so we done. Now we done. We finish. What we will do? We will exit and we will write here, show IP interface brief. With this command, we can check the status of the interface. If you see here, when I write show IP interface brief, I can see I have two interface. One is a fast Ethernet zero by zero, another is a fast Ethernet zero by one. and if you see this is ip address whatever ip address we assign to the interface we can see this is ip address we assign to this interface that is fast ethernet 0 by 0 and this one will be fast ethernet 0 by 1 so we assign correctly and if you see this status is up okay protocol is also up so we have everything working perfectly if anyone make down you will see administratively down here but no one make down this one and this one is connected so this should be up so now everything is good now we can check our pc should work now so i will minimize and i will take this pc okay i will go here and let me try to communicate with the other pc i will write ping 192.168.2.2 okay let's see 2.2 will work or not i am standing here i am trying to communicate with this machine if you see first packet drop because of the arp arp i hope you remember address resolution protocol it is a protocol which is used to get the mac address over the ip address so what we are going to do we are going to get the mac address with the help of ip address for that one we lost the first packet after that our reply is coming everything is working perfectly if you want to ping the other machine also you can check 192.168.2.3 okay 2.3 you will have the first packet will be drop for the arp after that you will have that one okay this drop for arp after that reply is coming so working perfectly i hope this is clear for you in case if you are a beginner and if you have any confusion no need to worry just write in the chat box or in the comments we are going to support you or you can whatsapp us in our whatsapp number our team is going to support you you can follow us in the instagram and send the message we are going to help you there also thank you